Hi, I'm Polly McKinney, Advocacy Director at Voices for Georgia's Children. And welcome to my frozen back porch, which is warmer than my house because my furnaces are broken. So I decided to do it out here in the sun where it's warm. Anyway, let's get going. It was kind of a slow week, so this will actually be kind of a short um, legislative update. So one of the big things we found out this week is our schedule for the rest of this session, which is awesome because then I can start planning my trips. Most of my trip to my bed to go to sleep. That's <laughs> what's going to happen. Crossover day is going to be on leap year day, February 29th. That's the last day when a bill can move from one chamber to another and be viable for passage in this session. It's very exciting. Uh, looks like they're going to sign a die, which is the last day on March 24th. So it's a much shorter year this year. This week was full of budget hearings. Commissioners came and like paraded in front of the Joint Appropriations Committees and talked about money all week. Uh, let's see, what other? There are a bunch of bills that are getting hearings next week and, and that are starting to be active. Most of the bills that are starting to get really busy right now have to do with child welfare and child safety. Um, the cannabis bill, which is basically uh, Representative Peake's bill, which is a seed to sell, that deals with manufacturing and um, production of cannabis oil. It also adds some diseases that can be treated with cannabis oil. Senator Unterman dropped a pimping and pandering bill, which increases penalties for pimping and pandering. It's very hard to say. Senate Bill 278. Bill Act, which is, is savings accounts for folks with disabilities. Um, they don't have to lose their Medicaid or SSI um, supports in order to have extra help with work and independent living. So it's a great thing for parents to do um, who have children with disabilities. There are a myriad of fireworks bills, which are kind of reining in the bill that passed last year. They're kind of limiting how many hours and what days you can use fireworks and who oversees them and all that. There is going to be a hearing on licensing of lactation consultants. There um, is some activity around the paramutual betting the horse racing bill. Some of those proceeds would go to the Hope Scholarship. As of yet, we haven't seen any notes that any of that money would go to pre-K, Georgia pre-K, so we'll keep an eye on that and see if that gets included. That's everything that I can think of, and I'm really cold, so action alert is come to our panel discussion on child fatality, the child fatality review report. We have a whole host of commissioners who are going to talk about child fatalities um, in the report that comes out on Wednesday. Uh, we have a defects report and a statewide report. It's a big deal. Three o'clock on Wednesday. Thanks. Have a good week, everybody. Bye. Stay warm. Okay, this is very serious. You just like your hair is like <laughs> no my hair is like everywhere. Ah, now I got static. I have static. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs>